so lovely to have the piano back. <laughs> well, it is that time of day. It is time for all of our beautiful little happy faces from zero to 100. You're welcome to come on down for story time. It is children's story. And that means for all of my adults out there, wave your bills up high, shove them in those hands. Some of the kids don't see you. Huh? Tap them on the shoulder. They're coming. Yes. Today's children's story funding is going for our Adventure Club. And I love our Adventure Club. It is where my daughters, Violet and Elizabeth, are right now in age. And it feeds into our Pathfinder Club, which helps out our community, teaches our children about God and his love for them, and how they can work for him. Yes, so give to those little ones to help to get them started in adventures. <laughs> Look on both sides, kids. I see people with their bills not being seen. <laughs> By a show of hands, how many people started back to school in the recent weeks? Okay, so most of you are school age, good. Our story today is about a boy, Jamie, who's school age. Jamie was always really short. He was the tiniest kid in his class for as long as he could remember. He was so tiny that from kindergarten and first grade and second, he always hung out with the girls, and that was okay, and they had fun together, and everything was great, but then third grade hit. Do I have any third graders in here? I think I've got them all younger and older. Third grade. Third grade was kind of a different age, and suddenly, all his friends that were little girls didn't want to play with him. They said he had cooties. Anybody heard cooties? Sounds silly, huh? And he just grew kind of lonely in school. He was in third grade, and his friends didn't want to play with him because he was a boy. But he'd always been a boy. That didn't matter before. And the other boys just really weren't playing with him still. And he was so lonely. Well, summer came. And Jamie loved summer break because every summer, he would go to Arkansas and spend the whole summer with his grandpa. His grandpa had this great big ranch. And on the ranch, he had cattle, and there was a, a river that went through it so that he could go and fish, and he would look for lizards and snakes and bugs and all kinds of stuff because Jamie loved the outdoors and adventure. And he had so much fun. So summer hit, and the worries of school just faded away, and he went to grandpa's house. And something special happened while he was there. One day, he was looking down by the creek for some bugs, and he wanted to catch some because he was going to go fishing. And as he was looking, there was a boy. Looked about his size and age, and he was doing the same thing. He was looking for grasshoppers and things to go fishing. Oh my goodness, over the school year, Grandpa had gotten a new neighbor. Now in the country, neighbors are far away. So grandpa didn't realize that there was a kid at this house, Jamie's age. And soon, that little boy, Oliver, and Jamie became the best of friends. Every day, they'd wake up and they'd run to the other person's house, whoever's house they got to first, and they would figure out what they were going to do. They were going to catch frogs, they were going to go fishing, they were going to make a fort on grandpa's property. Oh, it was the best summer Fun, and Jamie was loving it so, so much. And then suddenly summer was over. And it was a few days away from going home. And Jamie remembered, I'm going home, and I don't get to take Oliver with me. I'm going home to no friends. And he started looking kind of sad. 
And Grandpa started noticing Jamie, who was all full of life and happy and having fun every day, started looking mopey. And he didn't look the same. And he said, Jamie, what's wrong? Why do you look so sad? Aren't you happy? You're going to be going home to see mom and dad and your dog. You haven't seen Stitch all summer. Aren't you excited to go home and see Stitch? Yeah, I've missed them all, but Grandpa, I don't have any friends back home, and I, I feel so lonely. That kind of made Grandpa's heart sad to hear, but he sat down with Jamie, and he said, you know what, Jamie? There are times in life we feel like we don't have anybody we can talk to or play with, and we can be lonely. But there's somebody special we always, always have. And Jamie said, who's always with me? And Grandpa reminded him, Jamie, you know Jesus. Don't you love Jesus? Well, yeah, Grandpa, I love Jesus. And don't you know Jesus loves you? Well, yeah, but Jesus, Jesus isn't really a friend. Oh, oh, but Jamie, he is. He's the best friend you've ever had. Did you know Jesus says he loves us so much and he cares so much about our friendship that he died for us? He tells us in John 15, verses 13 to 15, it says, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friend. You are my friends if you do whatever I've commanded. No longer do I call you servants, for servants do not know what their master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all the things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. And Grandpa said, see, you are Jesus' friend. He says so right in his word. And guess what? He tells us in Proverbs 18, 24, even a fool can be Oh, helps I read the right verse. <laughs> a man who is friendly must be friendly. Oh, must he himself be friendly? But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. That friend is Jesus. Did you know there may be years that come, and even though we have friends at school, some friends move away. Sometimes we move away, and sometimes there will be points in your life where you may feel lonely, like I don't have anybody, but you don't have to worry because you're never alone. Jesus tells us in his word, he is our friend, and he sticks closer to us than a brother. And I don't know about you, but I have siblings, and when I was little, sometimes my siblings stuck quite close to me. So Jesus says he'll stick even closer. He's always in your heart, and he's always with you. So if you've started the school year, and you don't yet have any friends yet, pray to Jesus, talk to him, know that he's your friend and he loves you very much. Now, I have two friend helpers, Rhea and Violet, who said that they're going to help me give you guys something to go back to your chairs with. Thank you.